Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about what are the top 8 homeopathic medicines for injury or simply you can say any kind of trauma. So, as you can see here on the screen, these are the top 8 homeopathic medicines for injury. Now, one by one, we'll discuss about them. So, first of all, we'll talk about the first injury medicine in homeopathy that is Arnica Montana. So let's talk about it. So Arnica Montana, this is a classic remedy for trauma, injury and bruising. The typical Arnica patient will tell you that they are fine and avoid attention. But may we still be in a shock. This is also a good one for jet lag. Common name of this medicine is Leopard's vein. And this remedy is best suited to treat traumatic injuries, strains, and overuse of any organs. It helps reduce the symptoms due to contusions, falls, blows, and pus infection. Leopard's pain also helps manage the following symptoms. Mastitis, that is inflammation of the breast tissues due to injury. Bruised and the sore feeling in the body. Sharp, pinching, pain in the head. Bruised and sore feeling in the eye. Fits of cough associated with the nose split, severe pain in the left elbow, pain in the back and the limbs. The patient feels like the area is bruised. Soreness in the arms and the legs due to overexertion. Bruising pain in the pelvis, which makes it impossible to walk. So, this was all about the first injury medicine that is Arnica Montana. Now, next we will talk about the second medicine for the injury that is Calendula. So, common name of this medicine is Marigold. Calendula can be taken as a pill or as a solution to bathe wounds. This remedy can be used for cold sores, mouth ulcers, cut and burns. Calendula officinalis work well in those which have the tendency to catch a cold, especially in the damp weather. For wounds and the post-operative and traumatic injuries, this remedy also helps manage the following symptoms. Deep cut or tear in the scalp region, eye injuries which form the pus, swelling in the submaxillary glands, that is salivary glands, which is painful to touch. Coriza, which means inflammation in the inner lining of the nose, in one nostril with the greenish discharges, dragging and the stretching pain in the groin region, and the proud flesh that is excessive granulation tissues, mild burns, erysipelas means large red patches on the skin due to bacterial infections, open wounds and ulcers. So this was all about. Now next we'll talk about the third injury medicine that is Rustox. So let's talk about it. So Rustox is a versatile remedy which can be used to treat bruised and the sore muscles in the joint. It is sometimes used to relieve the pain of arthritis. It is also sometimes used to treat rashes like chicken pox and shingles. Or you can say herpes joster, herpes joster virus. Common name of this medicine is poison ivy and rustox is the best suited to the people who experience tearing pain in that feel like the tissue is being torn in two. It provides relief from the strains, contusions, sprains and the traumatic injuries and is also used to manage the following symptoms. That is inflammation in the eyes along with pustules old injuries in the eyes, discharges of the blood and the pus from the ears, crackling in the jaws while chewing, erysipelas with swelling on the face, easy dislocation of the jaw wounds, stiffness and the pain in the lower back, swelling and the pain in the joint, stiffness and the paralysis of the limbs, skin pain on exposure to the cold air, swollen lymph nodes, burning skin eruptions that tend to form scales. So this was all about the third injury medicine that is Rustox. Now next we'll talk about the fourth injury medicine that is Bellispur. So common name of this medicine is called Daisy 
and let's talk about its medicine now. So Bellispernis is an effective remedy for bruises and contusion in the breast and sprains and strains in the body, especially in the pelvic pain. And other symptoms that can be treated by using this remedy are bruising pain in the head, weakness of the abdominal muscles in the women's along with pain, pain in the walls of the uterus, joint pain, sore muscles, sprains in the arms and the leg, the joint feel as if an elastic band is wrapped around it, fluid filled wounds on the skin, swollen skin which is sensitive to touch, varicose pains with the sore and the bruised feeling. So this was all about the fourth medicine. Let's talk about the fifth injury medicine that is Hemomelis virginia. So common name of this medicine is a witch hazel. Now let's talk about the symptoms. So Hemomelis is given to those who experience bruising pain in the affected parts. It helps in treating traumatic wounds, contusions, scalds and wounds that bleed profusely. So basically it is a hemorrhagic medicine. This remedy is also used in treat the following symptoms that is profuse bleeding from the nose, piles or you can say hemorrhoids, the profuse bleeding and soreness, sore ulcers on the skin, varicose pain pain, sore muscles in the joints, skin burns, echimosis that is bruise, phlebitis that means inflammation of the veins. So this was all about the fifth injury medicine. Now let's talk about the sixth injury medicine that is so common name of this medicine is marsh tea this remedy that is lidum pal is the best suited for the person who lack body heat it is mainly used to treat the puncture wounds due to bites or sharp pointed objects especially if the wounded areas feel cold and other symptoms that can be treated with this remedy are prolonged discoloration of the skin after injuries second echimosis that is bruises third crepitus means crackling sound in the joints which worsens after lying in the warm bed shooting pain in the limbs especially in the small joints swollen ankles crusty eruptions around the mouth in the nose lacerating wounds means deep or the gashing wounds slit and the punctured wound and bruises in the eyes now let's talk about the seventh injury medicine that is hypericum perforatum so common name of this medicine is saint john's wort this remedy is used for treating the puncture wounds bruises and injured nerves so basically this is a nerve medicine and it reduces the anxiety and the depression following injury and operations and is also beneficial against the following symptoms that is twitching and jerking of the muscles injury to the coccyx so coccyx is a small triangular bone at the base of the spine due to fall sore or the old ulcers in the mouth wounds with uneven edges and too much exhaustion due to blood loss hair loss at the site of the injury bruised sensation in the joints Darting pains in the shoulders, lancinating pains in the arms and the legs, injuries of the toes, nails and the fingers. Now let's talk about the last medicine of injury that is very important, Symphytum officinale. So let's talk about this medicine. So common name of Symphytum is Comfrey Knitbone. Officinale is the best suited for the treatment of non-union fractures. It also helps treat strain, bruises in the eyes, sprains and lacerated wounds, contusions and wounds that penetrate the bones and periosteum. Periosteum is a layer of the tissue that covers the bone. And this remedy is often used as a local application over sores and ulcers as a dressing to expedite the healing or to commence the healing. It also helps reduce the following symptoms that is inflammation of the wounds along with swelling and redness, traumatic injuries of the eyes, eye pains that occurs due to blow to the eye with a blunt object, tendon and ligament injuries, 
bones sensitive and prone to fracture so this was all about the eight injury medicine that is symphytum officinale so that's all for today see you guys in our next video till then stay connected with us for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and comment below and yes press the bell icon for more updates stay safe and stay healthy and yes thanks for watching this video